All right, guys, welcome back. We bought a shop. Just kidding. This is actually uh, Vince's uncle's bike shop. He uh, was the original owner of this Mustang, believe it or not. It just, I mean, through the grapevine eventually uh, ended up in my hands, not intentionally, but uh, he happens to have a shop and he's uh, graciously letting me borrow it to do my transmission swap finally. So today we're gonna be putting the uh, 6 or 86 speed in my Mustang here. So uh, first things first, we're gonna need to drain the fluid here and then remove some of the exhaust bits and uh, probably get the top side, remove the intake manifold for the top bolts and maybe this support bracket here, but otherwise uh, it should actually be pretty smooth to take this whole thing out. Um, in the interest of getting this done quickly, I'm probably not gonna show like tons of steps, I'll just show like the major parts. Yep. And uh, my transmission. Yep. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, we should probably disconnect the battery too, but uh, oh, that's fine. yeah, we're just gonna get started and we're gonna start draining this. Alrighty, so we've uh, started draining the uh, transmission fluid. It's pretty much empty now. Got the exhaust off. It was a bit hard to get off on this side, just some rusty bolts, I guess. But uh, that gives us a lot of access up here. We'll just unplug this stuff, get it out of the way. Just got all the electronics out of the way. I still think this saved us already like an hour. Say that again? It's probably already saved us an hour. Yeah, definitely. Just and climbing under it with jack stands and trying to do that. Yep, and then we'll remove these uh, bolts. I guess remove the drive shaft up here first. It's in neutral, so it'll spin freely. And uh, yeah, you can see the shifter up there. We'll see what we need uh, shifter-wise. I did buy a, a new 2014 one, uh, 11 to 14. Uh, Mike thinks that we could probably do it with the sock shifter, but you know, we have options, so we'll see. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and continue with this. All right, we have uh, made more progress. I'm not sure if we showed, but we got the drive shaft out. Basically just a couple bolts up here, a couple bolts back at the differential, and then up top there are some bolts here. Uh, just came right off. We did disconnect the uh, transmission cooler lines. Uh, I'm gonna be installing new transmission cooler lines for this transmission also. I think they're on the opposite side, but. They're infinitely easier than an F-body. Yes, yeah, so it's a lot easier than a Firebird. I uh, got more electronics out of the way here. And uh, I think now at this point, we're going to be, we're gonna be unbolting the starter there. And uh, yeah, probably inspection plate so we can get to the converter bolts. And uh, yeah, there's lots of bolts and stuff that we need to get to. And we're probably gonna have to take off the intake manifold to get the top bolts, but uh, we'll see depending on what's up there. Disconnect the shift linkage and uh, not much more. And then we'll get the, uh, the jack over here to support this. We'll have to lower the uh, car a bit because it doesn't go very high. And uh, unbolt the cross member, and then once all the torque conveyor bolts out, the bell housing bolts out, it'll, it'll come off and I'll have exposed the end, uh, the back of the engine. All right guys, uh, we got the torque converter unbolted. Basically there is an inspection plate on right here, this guy. We, you're able to, I guess we didn't even need to remove it technically because we removed it. The bolts from an access hole that's up there. We got through an access hole right there. It's probably gonna be high, hard to see right in there. You just rotate the engine with the bolt and uh, they'll show up there and you just unbolt it. So now that we have that done, I mean, we have to unbolt the uh, shifter bracket and it looks like there's some electronics here. And then we have just the bolts to get to. I mean, remove the intake manifold if we need to, but since we uh, removed the torque converter bolts, Mike was saying that uh, if we remove the uh, bolts here and the cross member, it'll allow it to sag a bit and we can just reach the ones up top. So. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and proceed with that. All right guys, we got a uh, center jack just to support the transmission. I did end up taking out all the bolts on the side. Uh, they're still the top bolts. So what we're gonna do is we're going to disconnect the uh, cross member here or the cross brace and lower it. And that should sag the transmission up to where we could see the bolts at the top up here. I'm not gonna be able to get the camera up there, but that's basically where we're at. I'm gonna go ahead and undo these bolts and see about lowering the transmission a bit and uh, get into the top bolts. All right, loosen them up. All right, let's see if that's enough extensions. Yeah, as long as they're just hanging in the bell housing threads. Alright. Come on, baby. Get over here. 
Should be good to start lowering. All right. Looks pretty good. Officially about any complicated work we just do over here. I very much agree. That we have our own. So everything's come out easily. We're not seeing any wires up top that might get snagged or, you know, are stuck anywhere. So should be pretty much good to go to let's pull this right out. Oh, we do have this main transmission wire actually, but uh, we'll, we'll be able to get it out once it's uh, a bit lower. Just cut it off. Uh, torque converters clear the flex pipe. Looks, so. Looks like it. Yeah, let's shine some light up in here so I can. Yeah, it's going to be moving forward though and hitting the flywheel, so I think it needs to back out a bit. Okay, we can probably get to this yeah. shit up here. I'm going to put the camera down and get this bolt, and we'll show you once it's on the ground, guys. All right, so we got the uh, old transmission out. We're letting the uh, old converter drain out. Uh, Difference be differences between the two, uh, it's got this plate on it, which uh, I don't think I've ever seen before. Certainly not the case with this converter. Basically, our main focus right now is spacing of where it is. This is my new flex plate. This is the old one. Um, there's a lot, like I said, differences between this one and the other one. So we're not sure what we're going to need. I did buy spacers. So it looks like two spacers is what it takes to be the right size. Same, same distance right there. Yeah, we're not, we're just uh, gonna have to do some, probably some trial and error to see what fits, you know, with spacing wise, you just wanna get correct torque converter spacing. Also with the starter. So uh, also got the new sandwich plate in. Uh, the old one just came off on dowels. And uh, I'm thinking before we continue also, we're gonna have to address these uh, coolant lines because uh, we have all the room now that we need, so probably take advantage of that right now. So we're probably going to go ahead and get working on that. We're selling it. No. <laughs> <laughs> so far, the only hang-up we've gotten to so far was the transmission cooler. So this is the sock cooler that goes in there. We really needed to take apart the whole front to get to the lines. There's just two barb fittings, 5 8 and they had stupid locks on them, and it was just bad. Basically, it just sits down between the AC condenser and the radiator, and... Uh, there's one of the lines actually right down there where my finger is pointing. Um, so we fished it out, got the lines cut off. Now we're going to put new lines on and run it back to the, uh, the new transmission. We haven't got that in yet, but once we have this back together, bolted down, we can just like slam through installing the transmission. Yep, then we'll be on to wiring. Only thing would be checking the torque converter clearances and whatnot, but... Send it. Yeah. And then torquing everything down, put Loctite, Loctite tight on everything. Uh, I do need to put the uh, tune on my tuner, yeah. upload the tune, and then, yeah, I'm driving around and uh, put a pre-tune on the transmission, and uh, should be good. We're at about 2.30 now. Yeah. Started at 10.30, so four hours so far. Yeah, not bad. Transmission's already out. And we're in the stages of putting I'd everything say we together. Probably have gotten to where we are now at the end of today. If we were doing this on jack stands. Oh, seriously, not even that. I think like it'd be dark out and we'd be screaming. Yep, it'd be way harder to do this on jack stands. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the new line, put it on here, and just kind of route it out. We're not gonna attach anything yet, and uh, put the front back on, and uh, get started with putting the transmission in. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, we uh, got the new torque converter installed. It took a very long time to fill up these uh, converters. It's great. It was great. It's so wonderful. Got it seated all the way in there. We kind of measured, and things are looking pretty good. Also, on the uh, flux plate here, we ended up putting two shims behind it uh, just because just measuring from the other converter uh, just what it looks like it needs. So we're going to go ahead and test fit it with starter and everything, see everything lines up and uh, we should be good to go past that. All right guys, I'm not sure actually where we left off. I think we were loading up the torque converter with fluid and stuff. Uh, just in the interest of getting things done fast, we have uh, put the transmission on the jack and lifting up in this place. 
We're just angling it. We've gotten two bolts in. Uh, bolts right up. Bolts right up. We made a hole for the quick six computer connector. We thought it was gonna be coming out farther back here, but uh, we were very wrong. So, uh, yep, we made a hole right here. Really bad lighting, unfortunately. But uh, it'll just connect right up into the plug there. And uh, yeah, we're just getting this done. We do need to run the rest of the coolant lines up here. And uh, otherwise it is right now bolted on with two bolts. So uh, not going anywhere. And then we're gonna need to bolt in the torque converter. And uh, yeah, continue from there. We're just trying to get this done fast. So um, that's why we haven't shown much, but basic principle of just removing transmission, put it in. We'll go more in depth once I do more like computer stuff, so. All right, guys, we uh, haven't made an update in a while, but uh, we got this back up. We did have to take the transmission out a couple times just to make sure clearance-wise for the converter. Um, we got the drive shaft in, and uh, now we're just taking the pan off so we can go ahead and replace the, the gasket and then the, replace the oil filter. And uh, we're also checking on these lines. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue with this and show you once we have more progress. All right, well, it is uh, about nine o'clock. We uh, did as much as we could today. I mean, we pretty much got everything on the bottom end all tidied up. All these uh, O2s zip tied out of the way. We got the shift linkage all figured out and uh, coolant lines all ran. Kind of hard to see in this dark, uh, dark under underside of the car, but not a big deal. Yeah, there we go, some more light. But uh, yeah, we got everything on, full exhaust and the O2. So this is pretty much good to just lower down now. I don't think there's anything else we need to do on the other side unless there's any type of like troubleshooting. And then, uh, yeah, too. yeah, dipstick, that's true. Actually, might as well just throw that in real quick so we can tighten it up, up top side. And then we do need to put my bumper back on. We did take it off and uh, just need to bowl it down. So, yep, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I think end it off here. Uh, not much else we need to show and then we will uh, start it back when we are going to be setting up the computer. Yeah. Thanks for watching.